Get ready for a roller coaster of laughs, shocks, and tears as we delve into the out of towners. This 1970 film stars Jack Lemon and Sandy Dennis in a hilarious tale of a couple experiencing one disaster after another while visiting New York City. But hey, that's just the beginning. Stay tuned because we've got a bunch of funny, shocking, and even sad facts about the movie coming your way. Who is your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this flick? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Plus, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? We're all ears. And don't forget to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So grab your popcorn and let's dive in. In 1970, a comedy film titled The Out-of-Towners hit the screens. It follows a married couple from the Midwest, George and Gwen Kellerman, as they tackle the challenges of New York City. Directed by Arthur Hiller, the movie stars Jack Lemmon and Sandy Dennis. The story revolves around George rushing for a job interview in the big city, only to face a series of funny mishaps. Despite their efforts, everything seems to go wrong, showing the chaos of city life. Critics and viewers love the humor, and the actors' performances, especially Jack Lemmon's impeccable comedic timing. Sandy Dennis plays Gwen as a tired and stressed companion, which complements George's neurotic character well. Neil Simon's script captures city life's essence, blending humor with moments of truth. The film's exploration of the challenges faced by the couple resonates with audiences. Despite some initial criticism, The Out-of-Towners has become a classic comedy. While a remake starring Steve Martin and Goldie Hawn tried to capture the original's magic, it didn't surpass the brilliance of the original cast. Overall, The Out-of-Towners remains a timeless favorite, offering a hilarious look at navigating city life. It continues to entertain audiences with its witty dialogue, memorable characters, and lasting charm. In 1970, a film featuring notable actors like Jack Lemmon brought attention to some interesting familial connections within the cast. Graham Jarvis, a key figure in the movie, happened to be the first cousin, once removed, of actor Hume Cronin. Their family ties trace back to common ancestors, John Laba and Catherine Matilda Biddulph, who were Hume's maternal grandparents and Graham's maternal great-grandparents. Jack Lemmon, another prominent actor in the film, actively sought the role of Captain John Yossarian in the 1970 film Catch-22. His lobbying efforts underscored his interest in the project and showcased his determination to secure specific roles that appealed to him. Adding another layer to the familial connections, Robert Walden, part of the film's ensemble, was revealed to be the uncle of Howard Deutsch. Howard, in turn, is married to the actress Lee Thompson, creating an intriguing web of family ties within the movie's cast. These personal connections shed light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the film industry during that era. It's fascinating to discover how the actors involved in the out-of-towners had familial bonds and connections that extended beyond the screen, adding a nuanced dimension to their professional lives. In 1970s cinema, the out-of-towners includes notable individuals with interesting backgrounds that add depth to the movie. One such figure is Billy D. Williams, known not just for his role, but also as Larry Riley's uncle. Williams' influence goes beyond family, as the character Walter Doc Hartford in the animated space opera The Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers was inspired by him. On the other hand, Jack Lemmon, a crucial presence in the movie, had a unique upbringing shaped by his father's pursuits as an amateur singer and dancer. This likely influenced Lemmon's own journey in the performing arts. These personal connections give insight into the lives of those involved in the movie, enriching the viewer's understanding. The film becomes more than just a piece of cinema, but a reflection of personal history and the influences of its cast. In summary, The Out-of-Towners reflects the diverse backgrounds and influences that come together in the making of a film. Billy D. Williams, a member of the movie's cast, was honored by being put into the Black Filmmakers Hall of Fame in the early 1980s. Later, he became famous for his work in the film industry. Also, Philip Bruns and Graham Jarvis, who were in the movie, joined the cast of a popular TV show called Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. They were able to play different roles well, which made them even more respected in showbiz. Many years later, a new version of the movie was made, almost 30 years after the original. This time, Steve Martin and Goldie Hawn played the roles that Jack Lemmon and Sandy Dennis had played before. The new version brought a fresh perspective to the story, and people, both old fans and new ones, liked it. It retold the story for a new audience while keeping the heart of the original story. Looking back, both the old and new versions of the out-of-towners show how a good story can still be popular. Each version brings its own special charm, and viewed to the story of the main character's funny adventures, 
leaving a lasting impression on movies. One of about a half dozen Neil Simon written films have been remade, including Plaza Suite, The Odd Couple, The Goodbye Girl, The Sunshine Boys, The Heartbreak Kid, Barefoot in the Park, and The Out of Towners. In the film, the bases of the newly begun World Trade Center towers, risen to about 10 stories, are visible in the scenic view of Manhattan from the airplane. These are unmistakable due to their rusty red patina, which remained in place until the towers fell 32 years later. Jack Lemmon has appeared in four films that were nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, Mr. Roberts, The Apartment, Missing, and JFK. The Apartment won in the category. He was nominated for his performances in all of these films, except JFK, winning Best Supporting Actor for Mr. Roberts. In The Out of Towners, John Euler Lemon Roman II, father of Jack Lemon, has an uncredited role in The Notorious Landlady. And Mira, Ben Stiller's mother, plays the woman reporting to the police about her stolen handbag, when the Kellermans are reporting being mugged. Jack Lemmon was considered for the role of Uncle Joe McTeague in Greedy, which went to Kirk Douglas. Lemmon's father, John Euler Lemon Roman II, had a role in The Notorious Landlady, and Mira, Ben Stiller's mother, portrays the woman reporting her stolen handbag to the police in a scene where the Kellermans report being mugged. Jack Lemmon was in the running for the role of Uncle Joe McTeague in Greedy, but lost out to Kirk Douglas. And the out-of-towners, and Prentice, who is Richard Benjamin's sister-in-law, had a significant part. Jack Lemmon, who was also in the movie, was thought about for a different role in another film. What's interesting is that one of the scenes in the beginning of the movie showed a clock tower and a nice cinema in the small town of Roslyn, NY. These parts, put into the story smoothly, really added to the feeling and vibe of the whole thing, making it feel more real. The pretty views in those scenes made people feel a bit nostalgic and like they knew the place, which made watching the movie even better. It's these small things that you might not notice at first that help make the movie feel like a whole world. These details not only make the story better, but also stick with people, making the movie more memorable. In the early 1970s, a comedy film emerged featuring a couple navigating the chaos of New York City. Led by a cast with notable backgrounds, the movie showcased the collaborative efforts of seasoned talents. Before delving into the world of the out-of-towners, it's worth mentioning that Jack Lemmon, a key figure in the film, had a unique connection to the entertainment world. Before his role in the movie, he served as the president of the Harvard Hasty Pudding Club, which adds an interesting layer to his background. As the story unfolds, viewers may recognize familiar faces from other productions. Sandy Dennis and Graham Jarvis, both involved in the out-of-towners, later appeared together in the film Parents, further connecting within the world of cinema. Another interesting detail involves Paul Dooley, who had a role in the film. In October 2007, he performed in The Sunshine Boys at the George Street Playhouse in New Brunswick, New Jersey, alongside Jack Klugman. This shows the ongoing careers of the actors beyond the out-of-towners. These behind-the-scenes glimpses add depth to the film's production, revealing the diverse experiences and connections among the cast members. Such details, though seemingly unrelated, contribute to the rich history of the entertainment industry, telling a story of collaboration and shared experiences. In the world of the out-of-towners, these actors, each with their unique backgrounds and paths, came together to bring laughter and entertainment to audiences. The movie not only reflects its time, but also shows how talented individuals work together in the dynamic world of cinema.